can informational content on arthritis explain x-rays and MRIs? Imagine trying to see inside your joints without cutting into your body. That's what x-rays and magnetic resonance imaging scans do for doctors when they look for arthritis. These images help reveal what's happening beneath the surface of your skin and bones. X-rays are usually the first step. They use a small amount of radiation to create pictures of your bones. These images can show if your joint space is narrowing, which means cartilage is wearing down. They can also reveal bone spurs, cysts, or increased bone density, all signs of osteoarthritis. But x-rays mainly focus on bones and don't show soft tissues like cartilage, tendons, or ligaments very well. That's where magnetic resonance imaging scans come in. MRIs use strong magnets and radio waves to produce detailed pictures of both bones and soft tissues. They can spot cartilage damage, inflammation, or bone erosion that might not show up on an X-ray. This makes MRIs especially useful for early-stage arthritis or complex joint issues. For example, if an X-ray doesn't clearly show what's causing your joint pain, an MRI can give a clearer picture. It can also help doctors see if tendons or ligaments are torn or inflamed. When doctors are trying to decide how severe your arthritis is or how it's progressing, they might order both tests. Usually, an X-ray is done first because it's quick and less expensive. If more detail is needed, especially about soft tissues or early damage, an MRI is the next step. MRIs can detect changes before they show up on X-rays, helping with earlier treatment options. Knowing the differences between these imaging tests helps you understand why your doctor might recommend one or both. It also explains how these images guide treatment plans and monitor how well your arthritis is responding to therapy. So yes, educational content about arthritis can clearly explain how x-rays and MRIs work, what they reveal about joint health, and why both are important tools in managing arthritis.